You just heard it there, a jury finding former HPD narcotics officer Gerald Goins guilty on the charge of felony murder. This is all in relation to the botched raid on Harding Street back in January of 2019. Investigator Mario Diaz has been covering this case since the very beginning. Yeah, he's joining us live right now to kind of break down what we just heard there live in the courtroom. Mario. Very quick, very dramatic, and a response that not many people expected because of what we have seen here in recent days. But the jury came in. I saw their eyes. They never made eye contact with Gerald Goins as they came inside. And I will also tell you, I counted over 15 police officers inside of the room before the verdict was read. Now, why is this important? Because that's usually a sign that that is not going to go in favor of the defendant. But you heard the verdict. Guilty on both counts. I want to bring in Rick DeToto and Letitia Quinones. They are both here right now. Uh, Rick, you're in the courtroom. I'm going to start with you first. Your thoughts as to how quickly they came back with this verdict? That was a quick verdict, and I'm shocked. As you know, I've been predicting. I thought it would be a hung jury or a not guilty based on the um, jury charge and how complicated the case was. But I'm shocked. So we got to give credit where credit is due. It looked like the case proved their uh, the state proved their case, and the jury believed it. Letitia, same. I am really shocked given the facts of these cases um, in terms of the events that actually occurred inside of that home. For them to find him guilty of murder and this quickly means that the state proved their case much quicker than we thought they did and much better than we thought they did. It was a telling sign when you saw Kim Og come into the courtroom about 10 minutes before the verdict was read. She went up, Rick. We saw her. She hugged her two prosecutors and told them, I'm very proud of you. This this is arguably the biggest victory of her tenure. Yeah, this is a controversial case. It's been that way since it's been going on. I've argued that the federal the federal authorities should have handled the case, but obviously she's proud of her prosecutors. And again, you got to give respect. Respect is due. She congratulated them for a job well done, and they won the case. Letitia, you've seen plenty of cop cases here in Houston. Is this the biggest? This is the biggest, and I think we talked about this the other night, Mario. This is an instance where people just do not like dirty cops, and I think at the end of the day, that's what it boiled down to. And we can't forget Forget about those facts. What was intriguing as I was stepping out of the courtroom, you saw all of the law enforcement there. A couple of them went up to Gerald Goins and they were saying, we got to take you now into the back room. That's what happens when you're convicted of murder. And Goins somewhat resisted there for a split second. You heard him say, I've got a job to do. And he goes, I got a job to do too. And his attorney was getting and then he finally relented there. This is something that I'm sure is catching him very much by surprise. Yeah, at some level, it's got to be difficult for those officers to take a fellow officer into custody, especially based on the facts of this case, but obviously they're doing their job. They also recognize as human beings, this guy is probably going to prison for a long period of time. It's just a difficult situation. I think they were trying to give him some professional courtesy as a fellow officer and, and do it the right way and say, come on, you got to go with us, but we don't know what's going through Goins' mind right now. It's obviously a horrible situation for him. You've been in these situations. How much shock do you think is racing through his mind considering that he had this all-star defense team representing him? I guarantee you that right now everything is surreal for him. I want you to think about the fact that his career has been one where he was of authority. He was law enforcement. He was on the other side of this for the majority of his life, and now things are completely different. Things are completely flipped. He is in complete shock, and things are very surreal for him. 